what is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel i am scuba doobie i hope you all had a fantastic day we are continuing our time lapse series on peace river we are on day one of spring and we are going to plant as many soybeans as we can tonight but instead of talking about that i kind of wanted to talk about some of the games that i'm looking forward to for the second half of 2021 if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, make sure you have your notifications turned on. I would greatly appreciate it. We are again creeping up on that 4,200 subscriber mark. So let's see if we can get there and grow the community together. So with that being said, this list is in absolutely no particular order on what games I'm looking forward to in any way, one over the other. But let's start off because our main game is Farming Simulator. So I am very, very much looking forward to Farming Simulator 22. The more and more I watch some of the recaps of FarmCon with some of the things that they discussed, I find myself getting a little bit more excited about the game. Probably my favorite feature that I saw in Farm Sim 22, in my opinion at least, was the new build mode. Um, I think the, the build menu, the landscape menu in 17 and 19 has a whole lot to be desired. I think it's extremely cumbersome, too many different buttons and things that you have to do. And I gotta say, I was very impressed with the new menu, the new layout uh, of the build system in Farm Sim 22. Obviously there's other things, engine improvements, audio improvements. So again, I am extremely excited for the game. Yes, I've already pre-ordered it. And yes, we will be playing the heck out of it as soon as it comes out. Next on my short list is probably just a gimmick of a game, but I did I did play the free tutorial and demo when it came out on Steam, and that would be Lawn Mowing Simulator. I believe this comes out on August 10th, so I will definitely be picking that up, and uh, we'll uh, we'll cut some grass and see how it goes. I'm I'm interested to see how the game progresses. I really wish it had a multiplayer feature. Uh, it does not, from everything I've read and seen so far. It is single player, but. Multiplayer would be really cool if you could start your own contracting company and play in multiplayer and then again build your company up with more and more equipment and different employees could go around town doing different jobs. So again, we'll see what that evolves into, but again, that made my, my short list here for the second half of 2021. One that I'm really excited about is Age of Empires 4. Age of Empires is a game that I played as a kid and kind of cut my teeth on. Uh, playing online or even land gaming back in the day. So I am definitely a huge fan. Um, I've had all of the Age of Empires. I've had all of the definitive editions. So I am looking forward to Age of Empires 4, bringing it kind of into, as they would say, the, the modern gaming realm. So you'll definitely see us playing that uh, here and there, as well as maybe live streaming it now and again. The other game on the list is Far Cry 6. I've always been a really big fan of Far Cry. So I'm looking forward to this one coming out here in the second half of 2021. The storyline looks like it could be pretty exciting. If you kind of watch some of the trailers and some of the videos, it, it kind of almost seems like they're portraying it, that you'll be playing a, a revolutionary force based out of Cuba. Uh, whether that uh, storyline is, is true or not, uh, I don't know if that's really the case or not. But either way, Far Cry 6 is definitely on my list. One that I'm undecided on right now is Battlefield 2042. Um, I've loved the Battlefield series right up through Battlefield 4, uh, and then really kind of lost interest in them uh, after that. I'm hoping with Battlefield 2042, I can kind of get some renewed excitement around it. I am a little hesitant uh, and a little nervous about it, kind of how we've seen things in Warzone with hackers and cheaters. I'm just not sure if they'll be able to uh, combat all of the cheaters and hackers in Battlefield 2042, especially with some of the rumors that have gone around with source code being leaked uh, from a previous breach. But hopefully they'll be able to get that under control because I think it looks like it could be a really, really fun game to play, especially if there's a multiplayer mode or even a battle royale. But definitely more interested if there's a storyline mode. So we'll see what happens with that when it comes out. The last one isn't necessarily a game, I would call it an update or a free DLC. And that would be for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, the Top Gun DLC. Um, it's supposed to come out later this year. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to that. I was really hyped up for it. I got confused for some reason and thought that it was launching 
with the Flight Sim 5 update. But regardless, we'll definitely be checking that out. I do want to get into some more Flight Simulator during the live stream. So we'll see how that goes. Let me know in the comments what games that you all are looking forward to in the second half of 2021. Again, that's kind of my short list. I do have a handful of others out there that don't have official release dates yet. Um, the new Jurassic World Evolution, uh, Builders of Egypt as some honorable mentions, but I think they're still a little bit too early on, so we'll have to wait and hear more. So again, leave a comment. Let me know what games are on your shortlist for the second half of 2021. Don't forget, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.